The Story of H. The Alphabet family children were born without voices and could not speak, but fortunately they lived near a magical forest filled with trees. Each tree was marked with a ribbon for each child to seek. Then they would water and care for each tree as they would please. Slowly after time, the trees would bloom with the flowers in store, and each letter would climb their tree, eat the flowers, and be silent no more. Of all of the letters, H was the most caring. She enjoyed helping others, but most of all, she loved sharing. Be it her books, her room, or her toys, H shared everything with the girls and the boys. Part of it was because H was so friendly. On her own, she would never, ever be. At night, Mama and Papa Alphabet could never find her getting ready for bed. H would always be playing with one of her siblings in another room instead. H's knack for sharing would come into play when she would be ready to get her sound one day. So into the forest, our little H would go as soon as her tree had started to grow. And up and up the tree she went, past every branch, whether straight or bent. So when she reached each and every blossom, she ate each flower one by one. And then it came before she hit the ground, the beginning of her own alphabet sound. Ha, ha, ha. And these are all the words that H can now say because of the sound she had gotten that day. Happy, harp, heart, hand. H then returned home quite pleased with what she had gotten. All the other alphabet children were excited to see what she had brought in. Yet H was not content to have a sound as her own. She wanted to find a way to share or blend with others so she wouldn't be alone. And so she approached her older brother C and asked in a tone as sweet as could be, You and I should be a pair. Why don't we find a way to share? C didn't know what H was thinking in her head, but he decided to follow whatever she said. So they came together and tried to form a blend. And this is the sound that came out in the end. Ch, ch, ch. Chimney. Chicken. Satisfied, H decided to try a new sound, a new conquest. One day she saw S coming back from the alphabet forest. Immediately she said, You and I should be a pair. Why don't we find a way to share? And so the two of them came together to try a new blend. Here is a sound that came out in the end. Shh, shh, shh. Shudder, shell. H now had two special pairs from sharing in store. But then she thought, what about one more? Finally, she approached her brother T. He had just gotten his sound from his tree. H asked him, so to offer him the choice. Why don't the two of us find a way to share our voice? So the two of them proceeded to form a pair, and here is a sound that both of them share. The, 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 throat, thimble. H now marveled at the blend she created. With her three siblings, she was more than elated. So this is why whenever you read H's sound, you will also encounter all the sounds she found whether it was from climbing her tree or forming a pair with S, C, or T.